Hello friends, welcome to our channel Engineering and Technology for You. In today's video, you will learn employability skills for engineers. Let us start with the introduction. Employability skills can be defined as the transferable skills needed by an individual to make them employable. Along with good technical understanding and subject knowledge, employers often outline a set of skills that they want from an employee. These skills are what they believe will equip the employee to carry out their roles to the best of their ability. Employability depends on your knowledge, skills and attitudes, how you use these assets and how you present them to the employers. Then your education and experience may make you eligible to apply for a job, but to be successful in most roles. You will need skills that you are likely to develop over time. Some will be specific to the job, but the vast majority of the so-called soft skills that can be used in any job or employment sectors. These soft skills are employability skills. They are what makes you employable. As a general rule, employers are willing to teach someone the job specific skills required such as how to operate a particular piece of machinery or use a particular computer package and that are specific to the role of the company. However, they are usually want to see that you already have other soft skills before hiring because they are much harder to teach. So hence we should develop it during your student life. So if you want to read more, you can refer to the website www.skillsyouneed.com. Then let us go for the skills. Key skills expected by the employers. Now, according to STEMnet, which conducted a survey among several UK employers, following are the T10 key skills expected by the employers. Now first is communication and interpersonal skill, then problem solving skill, third is initiative and self motivation, fourth is time management and stress management, fifth is organizational skill, then teamwork, then ability to learn and adopt, then ability to use data and mathematics to support information, diversity and valuing differences and last is negotiation skills. Let us see the definitions of all these skills in details. Now the first skill is communication and interpersonal skill. The ability to explain what you mean in a clear and concise way through written and spoken means. So that is communication. Then to listen and relate to other people and to act upon any information or instructions that is the interpersonal skill. Then next is problem solving skills. The ability to understand a problem by breaking it down into smaller parts and identifying the key issues, implications and identifying the solutions. Then to apply your knowledge from many different areas to solving, solving a task. So that is problem solving skill. So these problems may come at any time so you should have these skills to solve the problems then next skill is using your initiative and being self-motivated having new ideas of your own which can be made into reality showing a strong personal drive and not waiting to be told to do things that is self-motivated and taking initiative then working under pressure and to deadlines Handling stress that comes with deadlines and ensuring that you meet them. Then organizational skills, being organized and methodical, able to plan work to meet deadlines and targets. So monitoring progress of work to ensure you are on track to meeting a deadline. So this is very important. So time management, then monitoring and planning 
So all these things are required as organizational skills. Then let us go further. Team working. Now working well with other people from different disciplines, backgrounds and expertise to accomplish a task or goal. So that is working, team working or working in a team. Then ability to learn and adapt. To be interesting about your work and to identify ways to learn from your mistakes for the benefit of both you and your employer. So that is ability to learn and adapt. So always this will be helpful to you in your career. Then numeracy, the ability to use data and mathematics to support evidence or demonstrate a point. So make use of the mathematics or use of examples or data that is numeracy. Then valuing diversity and differences, knowing the value of diversity and what it can bring understanding and being considerate of the different needs of different individuals. So this skill will be particularly required when you are gathering the requirement analysis for the project. Then the negotiation skills. To take on board other people's feeling, express your own requirements in an unemotional clear fashion to achieve a win-win outcome. So, you will have to negotiate with people and even the clients. So, at that time, the negotiation skill will help you to do so. Then, coming to the next, change in skill demand and composition. The recent World Economic Forum studies on employability skills in relation to accelerated innovation cycle point out that over the next 5 to 10 years, skill demands would change significantly. So this is, there will be change in the skill demands, as you can see in this figure. Change in skill demands and composition. As you can see, presently, the cognitive abilities, it is 15%, but it will, by 2020, it will change. So, the current it is less whereas for 2020 there will be a drastic change in that then system skills 42 percent then this 36 and 40 and content skill 10 to 40 process skills will be 18 to 19 then social skills 19 to 37 percent resource management skills it will again increase so this then technical skills 12% to 33%. So all this percentage it shows that growing skills in demand then the key technology trends driven by artificial intelligence, AI, big data, then IoT, Internet of Things and cloud computing require engineers to develop not only above skills but higher order cognitive skills. So that is how the working will change and with that the skill set has to change. Then attributes of undergraduate engineering education. Now AICT, All India Council for Technical Education has listed similar skill set under categories of managerial skills, entrepreneurial skills, leadership skills, communication skills and team working skills and mandated colleges and universities to impart these skills from beginning. So it is compulsory for the colleges and university to impart these skills to the students. And here we have a table which shows some of the widely accepted and endorsed skills by colleges as suggested by agencies such as NBA, National Board of Accreditation. So in this we have the first is engineering knowledge, then problem analysis, then design and development solution, conduct investigation of complex problems, modern tool usage, engineer and society, environment and sustainability, ethics, individual and teamwork, communication, 
project management and finance and long lifelong learning so these are the some of the attributes of the undergraduate engineering students so we have to see that you have these attributes and most of these attributes they are similar or part of the employability skills just we have discussed now individual and team work communication lifelong learning all these are part of that only then let us go further these findings may be summarized in three core types of skills required to be employed the first is technical skills which consists of core knowledge of the field its application programming skills and ability to learn from basics so that will be included in the technical skills and second is the soft or professional skills which consists of majority of stem skills which we have just discussed including critical thinking and problem solving then the last is professional attitude which includes some of the stem skills listed above plus a few additional skills such as ethics integrity and ownership so these are the things which are required by the employer then let us see the references first is stemnet top 10 employability skills the pdf is available online this is the address given then second is employability skills this website skillsunit.com can refer to that then employability of engineer graduates in india a view from iucee itf community so that is the white paper from this community i have referred then aict the website address is given and nba national board of accreditation so you can refer to these references if you want to know more details about the employability skills with this we come to the end of this video if you like the video please press the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and if you want to get notified please press the bell icon then if you have any questions you can find me at the facebook twitter gmail and instagram thanks for watching have a nice i have you